Why is commercial metals, CMC, the most mispriced stock that you see in the market right now? I don't understand where the stock's being priced. They're having the most success. The com this is a company that's in the rebar business. They made a game-changing acquisition here this year where they bought the Gerdau assets here in the United States. They're now a 50% market player. They'll have a 50% share of the rebar business here in the United States. The stock's trading at multi-year lows, about six times earnings. It, this is going to be a very accretive acquisition. It seems like it's being treated like other type of steel. Yeah, but if you believe that the economy is going to slow down, maybe not go to recession, but even slow down, isn't construction, which needs rebar, going to mm -hmm. get hurt? I, th I think there's an infrastructure bill coming in some. And, and if you look at what's going on in the country, you know, rebar goes in just about every type of building. And so that's going to be a big money maker, I think, going forward. So we think uh, potentially the, the company could earn $3 a share. That's kind of the, with this acquisition, it, it goes from a two to a three type potential. You know, this could be a $40 stock here in a couple of years. Stock's trading around 16 right now. So I just don't think the market really understands what they're doing and how well they're doing. Well, let's talk about a company that's kind of in your backyard. By the way, a lot of Texas today. Kyle Bass, yourself, yeah. it's a lot of Dallas yeah. going on. <laughs> Plano, Texas-based at home, Texas-based yes. retailer, furniture, home decor. home decor. Stock's been terrible. It's been killed. It was trading in the How 40s. long have you owned it? Uh, we started buying it in around uh, about six, eight months ago in the, uh, on the way down. And it went because that used to be a forty dollars stock. It now does. it's a twenty three dollars. It was a high multiple, but now it's back to a respectable growth rate. It's trading about a twenty times earnings multiple now, but they'll grow twenty twenty five percent for the next five years. They've got about one hundred and twenty stores. They could have as many as six hundred. So this is in the early early stages of their growth. Could they be Amazon? Uh, no, no, we believe that they actually have lower prices than Amazon, and so. We're finding that millennials, and they have a very high millennial uh, customer base there. So we actually believe that these guys, they're going into the hotter housing markets out there. And so we really do believe they'll hit that 20, 25% growth rate. So you've been dollar cost averaging on the stock? Yes. Buying it, it fell, you, you're adding more, adding more, adding more? Yeah. It was retail has been a weird ride, Craig. I don't need to tell you that. And even housing has been even worse. Yeah, so this is not only exposed to retail and Amazon and everything else, but it's exposed to housing. Well, if you noticed yesterday, the, probably the strongest part of the market was the housing stocks. And we believe that they're now at, at a level where they can, they can find a rallying base here. You know, another stock you like has been a bizarre one. I mean, Cree, the lighting mm -hmm. maker, LED. Yeah. $50, $20 for a year and a half, mm -hmm. back to $54. What's going on with Cree and what makes that stock attractive to you? What's, what's, what's interesting there is they're in the silicon carbide business, which is uh, so chips being made out of this, pr this product, silicon carbide, which they're a 50% market share in. And this is a, a, an industry that's growing at 50%. So I th actually think they'll actually probably at some point sell off their LED lighting, and this will be more of a pure, Really? Because yeah. I think of them as a lighting company. Yes. I knew they had a that's silicon a bit of a business. I did not realize it was 50% of the revenues. They have revenues. a 50% market share, and it's growing at 50%. Because lighting is turning, even that kind of lighting, the higher end, is it turning into a commodity? A little, a little bit so. So you like their shift, their business we shift. We do like their shift. Silicon not, carbide. Not, not, a, not a, a cheap stock, but they're in the right areas that we think will grow. And very the quickly, one line, if you can, on a bonus stock, Matador Resources. Energy has been a tough place to be. Matador has the best small cap. Uh, management team that we know of. They're in the Permian Basin, really the Delaware, but a great earnings, great company, great, well-run well uh, company, very inexpensive. Been cut in half in the last six months. Yep.